Okay, so now that we're kind of winding down or at the end of cross country season, how do you translate your fitness or your the fitness of your middle distance runners? We're going to talk about the 800 today and use that fitness into an indoor winter tra uh, track season uh, plan, or even if it's just winter track for those that don't have indoor track in their states and whatnot. So I'm going to give you a fully detailed 15 week training plan and how to break down 800 meter training, but in a way that allows you know your athletes to run the mile, the two mile, the 400, the thousand, the 600, whatever and in a way that's a multi-paced training program and allows them to capitalize or you to capitalize on this fitness to run your best when it counts the most and again this is a fully detailed plan day by day week by week uh, and it's broken down in a way that makes it easy for you to modify and customize it based on races you want to run or races you want your runners to run so um i'm going to move over to the mile next then the 3k then the 5k as well these are members only as well so um if you have, if you haven't joined the membership, this is like a coaching clinic. And every time somebody gets a membership, you'll have a direct access to me for an hour as well to discuss all these training programs. So check out the memberships and I uh, hope you find them helpful. But moving on, this will be the first one that's not, um, this is open for everybody. After this, it's going to be members only. So if this is stuff you're interested in, if you like fully detailed training program and access to somebody to discuss the fully detailed tra pr uh, training plans, get a membership. Okay, and take a look at the other almost 400 videos I've got as well. So, and it's very, very, very affordable. But again, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than going to a coaching clinic, buying videos and doing everything else. And again, you have access to me and I've done all those things. I've learned from the best coaches. I've done the videos. I've done, I've got three books coming out that are going to be published. So a lot of things coming out. But now, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We haven't done so yet. So you don't miss these types of things. Okay. I don't want you to miss fully detailed content. If you have uh, questions for me directly, blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com is my email. So reach out to me. So I'm happy to answer them. Now let's get to this, okay? You'll see how it's broken down. <clears throat> okay, it's going to pop up. Okay, so week one, week two. Okay? You see, Mondays are easy days. So you have four to five easy day on Monday. And again, you can customize the volume appropriately. Say okay? Tuesday of week one, you do a thousand meter reps at 5K pace, four times a K. And again, this is where at this point you've already know where your current fitness is. You've done a mile time trial. If you haven't, I would encourage you to do that. And you can set your training paces accordingly. If that's something you need, I can do that for you. Okay. Based on what your current fitness is or your athlete's current fitness. So looking at 1K reps at 5K pace. Okay. With a uh, with a three minute recovery. Okay. And this is after obviously a warm up drills and strides and before a cool down. Okay. And then Wednesday, you do five to six miles and strides. Just some strides to kick out the rust on the legs from yesterday's workout. Thursday, five to six miles. And this is a relatively low volume training plan, okay? But in a way that allows you to modify upwards or downwards, whatever, you, whatever your athletes need. Friday, now you're doing 600 meter reps, but it's at 3K pace. Again, after a warm up, drills and strides before a cool down. So we did 5K pace the first workout, 3K pace the second workout this week. And you'll see next week we can do mile pace and then down at 800 pace. So it gets faster every two weeks okay and then you repeat a cycle but the reps change so it's an adaptation phase that you're giving your body i call periodization this is a great way to how to do it so the second workout is 600 meter reps at 3k pace the volume doesn't necessarily have to be super high but it will go up over time and then saturday you do a long run let's just say for this instance it's eight miles or one hour run okay just for mileage purposes and then sunday's an off day so that's week one week two the same easy day on monday Tuesday, it's broken into uh, two things. Again, in between a warm up and a cool down. Two sets of three times a 400. So it's six times a 400. That's the whole workout, okay, at mile pace, okay? And you can do a 400 meter jog here, okay, or 90 second recovery, whichever you like. So 90 or two minute recovery, I should say. And then in between the sets, you can do a four to five minute recovery. But again, this is where I can give you, you know, give you more specifics. If you uh, if we discuss this in person or over email or over face uh, FaceTime or Zoom or whatever you like, okay. So it's two sets of three times four hundred at mile pace, two minute recovery. Let's just say uh, in between the rep, four to five in between the set. Wednesdays five to six miles. Okay, we're developing I'm developing a consistent pattern of Tuesday Friday workouts. Okay, and if you decide to race on Saturday, then that's then that's in place of a Friday workout. Five to six miles Wednesday strides. Five to six miles Thursday, Friday. Warm up, drills and strides. Two sets of three times 200. So it's six times uh, 200 at 800 meter pace. So it's about one and a half mile, uh, one and a half times the distance, 1200 meter uh, of volume at 800 meter pace. So you do a yeah, 200 meter jog 
here. After each rep, nice and slow or jog walk, and then a 400 meter jog walk in between the sets. Okay. Then Saturday's your long run, Sunday's the off day. So that's weeks one and two. Okay. And you'll see a similar pattern. Developing a pattern of consistency is very, very, very important as it comes to training. It gives you, again, a chance to adapt. So that's why we do this. So now weeks three and four. Okay. And go back to this. So Monday, easy four to five miles. Tuesday, now we're going from 1,000 meter reps to 1,200 meter reps, okay? So from 4K to running to three miles worth of running at 5K pace, okay? You can also do a three, three minute recovery here or a 3.30 recovery if you need it, okay? Then Wednesday, five to six miles with strides. I like to do strides the day after work. I like that just to help give you a second day of uh, turning over the legs and getting some of the junk out from that particular workout. And then two days after, just easy run, five to six miles. Then Friday, five times 600 meter reps, now 3K pace. So we're adding a 600 meter rep, okay? At 3K pace, the same recovery. You can have a 400 meter jog here, or two minute recovery after the after the each rep. Saturday's your long run. You can bump it from eight to nine uh, or keep it at eight. And then the next four week block, you can change it or increase it. So uh, then Sunday's the off day. Week four, four to five miles easy. Tuesday, six times a 400 mile pace. Now we've broken into two to three set, two sets of three to 600 consecutively or six times reps times 400 consecutively. Now that's the progression from last one to this one, but it's the same volume, the same rep distance, just all consecutive. Now, now you can do a two minute recovery after each rep. So let's just say you're looking to run five minutes. You're looking at 74, 75, you're looking around 430, 66 to 67 or something like that. Okay. And doing them consecutively helps develop a rhythm. Okay, but sometimes not everybody can do that early on, which is why I haven't broken up into two sets the week prior, the cycle prior. Okay, five to six miles easy in strides on Wednesday, five to six miles easy on Thursday. Then Friday, we, we added those 200 from last time, three sets of two or two sets of three. Now it's six consecutive, okay, at 800 meter pace. With the same, we do a 90 second recovery, okay. Um, then a long run on Saturday, and then Sunday's the off day. Now, before we go any further, with the longer reps, I generally have folks do two times a 200 meter uh, rep at your goal pace that you're going to do the rep. So let's just say you're you're running the 4x1200s and 345, which is 75 per rep. You're looking to run those 237. And what that does is it helps to drill that pace into your legs before the workout starts. That way you're not trying to find it in the workout. Sometimes it takes three 200s, but a good 200 meter effort with a 200 meter jog recovery and repeat and then go into the workout makes life easier. For the longer stuff, I mean, for the shorter reps, I like to do a longer rep, an 800 meter at tempo or a thousand meter uh, rep at tempo if the reps are shorter. Helps elevate the heart rate, transition into the workout. And then you can even do it on the back end too. Another threshold rep to transition out of the workout. Just like after the workout, you can do two times 200 at the same pace after the workout with the longer reps. So it's just a thought. Okay, so that's week three and four. Okay, and again, same cycle. Okay, same cycle. Now, let's go to five to six. You see some, maybe some increases here a little bit and some different types of workouts. Okay, um, Monday's always going to be easy, four to five miles. I generally, if you're in school especially, I don't like doing Monday workouts. I like starting off the day and getting you in a rhythm first before we do anything. Tuesday, two sets of 1,500, 1K, 500. Okay, if you add it up, it's 3,000, it's 6,000 meters worth of running. Okay, over distance now at 5K pace for the 1500 in the kilometer efforts and at 3K pace for the final 500 meter effort. Okay, and you take a, uh, a four minute recovery after the 1500, a three minute recovery after the 1000, and a 600 meter, uh, six minute recovery after the 500, and then you repeat. Okay, again, do some 200s in the beginning and at the end for rhythm just to get into, the, get into your paces. Okay, and then you do your warm up and your cool down. Wednesday, we added a mile to the run, six to seven miles with strides, okay? This this um, next four-week block, we're adding a little bit of volume. Not much, nothing you can't handle, but that's one of the changes we're making as well as doing some pace changes in the workouts, okay? Five to six miles on Thursday, nice and easy. And on Friday, you'll see warm-up drills and strides, um, a threshold rep here. This is two, okay, broken mile. Broken miles, 400, 600, 400, 200, 16 min, 1,600 meters worth of running, okay? But you're doing a 3K to one mile pace, okay? So you do an easy 200 meter jog after each rep. So the 400 is at 3K pace, the 600 is at 3K pace, the 400 is at mile pace, and the 200 is at mile pace. 
and then you, after the 200, you jog 400 meters or maybe five to six minutes, and then you repeat the set, okay? Saturday is your long run, and now we can increase increase a mile in the long run. Let's say we're going to do nine miles. And if it's air, if you have availability to do rolling long runs, I encourage you to do as often as possible. It's a great way of building strength, especially if it's on softer surfaces. Sunday is the consistent off day. Week six, same easy four to five on Monday. Tuesday, two sets of four times the 400. Now we're bumping it up to eight times the 400, but 400 is a good staple workout for the mile. So two sets of uh, four, same two minute recovery after each rep four to five minute recovery after he's in between the set and repeat. Okay. So it's eight total reps. Now we've added two at mile pace Wednesday, six to seven miles with strides. Um, the strides can be hundred meters, 50 meters, as long as you're getting the legs turning over five to six miles easy on Thursday and Friday, two sets of four times a 200. So we've gone from six to two hundreds now to eight, same type of philosophy here, 90 seconds. Let's say after the 200 meter rep, and then in between the set, you could take four to five minutes and then repeat. And if your goal is, let's just say two minutes, 29 to 30, 29 to 30, just lock in. If your goal is 220, 34 to 35, lock in. Okay, that's the goal. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Saturday's the long run, Sunday's the off day. So again, we've made a slight increase in volume, but nothing you can't handle or adapt to in weeks five and six. And then this is the next four, the next two weeks of the same cycle. So, um, Easy day on Monday. Okay, Tuesday, now we bumped it up from four to K, four times a K to five times a K. Five times a thousand to 5K pace with a three minute recovery. Good uh, VO2 max training. Okay, very good VO2 max training. Wednesday, six to seven miles in strides. Thursday, five to six miles easy. Friday, broken down. Okay, this is, it's called the Michigan. Okay, what's well, considered, that's what's called, that's what folks call it. But I had, I tend to modify it a little bit. So you're doing a mile, a 12, an eight, and a four. A mile is at 5K pace, a 1200 is at 5K pace, 800 is at 3K pace, and a 400 is at mile pace or slightly faster. Okay, you jog half the distance. So after the mile, you jog an 800. After the 1200, you jog a 600. After the 800, you jog a 400. After the 400, you're done. Okay, nice and easy jog. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, Saturday's your long run. Again, let's just say it's nine miles rolling. Sunday's the off day. Okay. Week eight, four to five miles on Monday. Now we've added, we've combined those two sets of 400s, four times 400 on Tuesday. Now it's eight consecutive 400s at mile pace. If you can do eight of them at mile pace with a two minute recovery, that's a pretty good sign of your current mile fitness. Okay. Wednesday, six to seven miles in strides. Thursday, five to six miles easy. Friday, eight to 200s now. And we've broken, we've added the two sets of four. <clears throat> now it's eight consecutive. Okay. The pattern of adaptation keeps repeating itself, but slightly different with the same amount of reps. So eight times a 200 with a 90 second recovery at 800 meter pace. Good rhythm running. Really good rhythm running. Saturday's your long run. Sunday's your off day. Okay. And again, you modify this as you see fit. Okay. Next four week cycle, weeks nine, nine through 12. Okay, this is generally the most intense. Uh, the last one's the most voluminous. Just generally tends to be the most intense cycle, but you'll, that's something you'll notice over time as well. Easy day on Monday, Tuesday. Now it's six times an 800 meter effort at threshold. We're incorporating some more threshold running. So that's a one minute recovery after each rep. Okay, then six to seven miles of strides on Wednesday, five to six on Thursday, and then Friday. There's two sets of 800, 600, 400. Okay, the 800 is at 3K pace. The 600 is as close to mile pace as you can get it. And the 400, you try to get faster than mile pace or so between mile pace and 800 meter pace. Okay. There's a three minute recovery after the eight, 230 recovery after the six, five minute recovery or five to six recovery after the 400, and you repeat. Okay. So again, if you add up the volume, 14, 18, 3,600 meters, just slightly over distance, okay? Long run on Saturday, same nine miles rolling or whatnot, a nine to 10 miles rolling, off day Sunday to help you recover. <clears throat> easy, four to five miles on Monday, okay? And you'll see you'll always have two or three easy days in between each workout, no matter what, okay? Makes it easily substitutable with races. Uh, Tuesday, four times 600 a mile pace. This is a tough one, okay? Three minute recovery or 230 recovery. Okay, but four times 600, it's a mile and a half worth of total distance, 2,400 meters. But this is a very, very good mile fitness workout. 
if you can do it. Start with three and work your way up to four. Okay. Wednesday, six, seven miles in strides. Thursday, five to six easy. Friday, two broken 800s, 500 and 300. Okay. Or two sets of 500 slash 300 meters. Okay. After the 500, you're going to jog an easy 300. Okay. And then after the 300, you take about a six to eight minute recovery and you repeat. Okay. Two sets of broken 800s. And you could try to get them as close to goal, 800 meter pace as possible. Saturday's your long run. Sunday's the off day. Okay. Now, the last two weeks of this cycle. Alrighty. Easy day on Monday as always. Tuesday, you do a three mile tempo. So we complement the threshold run last week with a tempo this week. You take about a, th a four to five minute active recovery. Okay. And then you should, then you want to race pace RP 500 meters. Uh, if the 500 is at your goal mile pace, okay? So, if you, again, if you look on a run 420, you, you're coming through the 400, 465 and you keep going. If you're looking to run five minutes, you're coming through the 475 and you keep going, okay? And again, short and sweet. Wednesday, six to seven miles, okay, and strides. Those strides should always be around 800 meter pace, no matter what you are, what point in the season you are. You want to drill as much 800 because this is mostly for 800 meter specific runners who can run other events as well. So you get your miles and strides on Wednesday, miles easy on Thursday, and then Friday. <clears throat> this is a and down 400, 600, 800, 600, 400. Okay, you run the 400s at 800 meter pace if you can. You run the six to eight and the six at mile pace if you can. Okay, or even the 800 at three k pace if you can. So um, the 400 meters, you get a, uh, a two minute active recovery. After the 600, you go 230. After the 800, you got a three-minute recovery. After the 600 on the back end, you got a 230 recovery, and then you finish with a 400. Long run Saturday, Sunday off day. Week 12, last week in this four-week cycle <clears throat> before the final three, three weeks. And I'm basing it on a 15, 16-week indoor season because that's generally how long they are, the longest season in the year. So you easy run on Monday, Tuesday. Now you got four times a kilometer at threshold, okay? With a uh, seventy-five second recovery, it's at the same pace you run the four times one. Uh, you run the thousand meter efforts, okay? Than you did last time, right? Or the eight hundred meter efforts, I should say. So four times a thousand at the threshold with a uh, excuse me, a one minute recovery. Excuse me, no, not seventy-five seconds. And then you do a race pace six hundred meters on the back end. You try to run six hundred at goal mile pace. After that, this teaches you how to kick or accelerate when you're already fatigued. That's the whole point. It's a good way of testing your strength. And it's a great way of building speed through strength as well. Wednesday, six to seven miles, strides. Thursday, five to six miles. Friday, now you're doing four times a 400 at goal 800 meter pace. Okay. Three minute recovery after reach rep. But if you're running, you're looking to run two minutes, you're trying to run these in 59 or 60. Four consecutive with a, with a three minute recovery. Long run Saturday. Sunday's the off day. That, that consistent off day on Sundays it helps to make sure that you're not overtraining at any point in time. So it gives you regular rest while you're regularly adaption, adapting as well. Now we're doing the last three weeks. So the volume's going to cut back a little bit. Easy day Monday. Tuesday, three times a 1,200 at 5K pace. Your goal 5K pace, wherever you're in. Your, your 5K fitness should be further along than it was early in the season. Okay? And you take a uh, three-minute recovery for these as well. <clears throat> then you do three times a 300 on the back end at mile pace with a 100-meter jog recovery, okay? Turning over when you're already fatigued. Um, six miles in strides on Wednesday, six miles easy on Thursday. Friday, five times a 500 at 3K pace, okay, with a 300-meter jog recovery. 300-meter jog recovery, and you just go right into it. You repeat, 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 okay? And then... Three times progression, 150s. This is 50 uh, float, 50 stride, 50 sprint. So each 50 meter uh, increment gets faster. So it teaches you how to change gears throughout this thing. And then you walk back and you repeat three times. Long run Saturday, we cut back the long run by a mile or two now. Okay. And we're doing this in three to four week blocks. So we're not cutting the long run or the volume back every week. Whether it's going up, we need you to adapt. Whether it's going down, we need you to adapt. Okay. And then you're off day Sunday. Week 14, the week the second to last week. Now we're really sharpening up here. Easy four to five miles. And then Tuesday, you do a 600 meter time trial, like goal 800 meter pace. Okay. So again, 
if you're running, looking to run two two minutes, 129 to 130. You take an eight minute active recovery, okay, and then you run six times a 200 meter effort with a uh, one uh, with a one minute recovery at mile pace. All right, then six miles in strides on Wednesday, five to six miles easy on Thursday, and Friday five times a 300 at goal 800 meter pace. So you're getting more 800 meter pace into the leg. So again, if you're looking to run the 200 to 600 and like 129, 130, you're looking to run these at 44 to 45 repeatedly. Okay, just repeatedly. And again, you take a 200 meter jog recovery after this one. Okay, 200 meter jog recovery after each rep. Long run Saturday, we've cut that back as well. And then Sunday's your off day. And then race week, championship race week. Okay, your key race. Or one of your key races. Easy day on Monday, Tuesday, two times an 800 meter effort at tempo pace with a one minute recovery. At this point, most of the work is done, so you don't need to do anything. <coughs> Excuse me, super intense now. Two times an 800 tempo, one minute recovery, and then a 400 meter effort <clears throat> as hard as you can at the end. Okay, with a one minute recovery after that last 800 meter effort, you go right into that 400. Six miles easy and strides on Wednesday. Thursday is an off day rest. If you're racing Saturday, then Thursday is the off day. We generally want to avoid taking a day off before the day off before the race. So I do two days off before the race, and then you do an easy three miles on Friday to keep your legs in rhythm. A couple of 50 meter strides. Then Saturday's go time. It's race day. You do your warm up. You do a good cool, uh, <clears throat> a good drills and strides. Even a couple of 200s for rhythm to get the heart rate elevated before your race. Okay. It's a good way of adapting and a good way of feeling. You know, and, and generally when you race, if you do a double, the second race tends to feel better than the first because you're already warmed up. This helps simulate that. So a couple of 200s before the race. And then your 800 meters, it's go time. And you cool down. And then Sunday, you just do an easy two to three miles to rest just to shake off the legs, especially if you want a big PR, flush out the lactate, <clears throat> and then you rest. But that's a 15-week fully detailed training program right now. Okay. If you want to go over this one, again, reach out to me. Load up the comments, okay, or reach out to me directly, blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com. If you have anybody you're coaching or anybody that needs guidance, I'm here to help in any way possible. So train hard and train smart. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll talk to you next time.